Hi, I'm Chris uh, Donaldson. I'm the CEO and director of Outback Goldfields. Um, we trade on the TSX and the symbol uh, OZ. We've got uh, four properties in and around the Fosterville mine and the historic Victorian Goldfields in Australia. We uh, are a relatively new company, listed about a year and a half ago, um, and raised about $10 million. Uh, and then had a li little bit of a tough year last year with the lockdowns and with COVID. So our um, exploration program was delayed. We were supposed to start last June, but thankfully we were able to get back in and, and start drilling uh, in December and, and exploring our various projects. So we're, we're exploring in an area that um, is surrounded by previous production um, on uh, areas that are covered by basalt, where it hasn't received any real modern exploration at all. So uh, certainly been a lot of uh, previous production um, in the case of our Ballarat West uh, project, 17 million ounces produced within three miles of the project, uh, including the, the richest alluvial mile, as somebody told me uh, when I was down in witnessing the project last, last week. So we're doing as much soil um, work and pre-drill work right now, um, and then looking to get some prime targets and start drilling uh, later in the summer. The next steps is, is really getting those targets for us. So it's, uh, you know, they're a long time coming, but it's, it's uh, proven to do the work up front. Uh, you, can, you can spend a lot of money chasing great, but we're gonna get some prime targets and, uh, and start drilling later this summer. The good news is that there's been some success with uh, other juniors in the area. Southern Cross just last week and East 79. When they've hit, they've, they've had tremendous uh, uh, share appreciation overnight, which, which is the good news. We believe we have the, the prime um, or most prospective property. We're, we're in an area, as mentioned, that's 17 million ounces, so close to the property that um, it's a large area, it's about 45,000 hectares, that hasn't been explored at all. We've got a great team both in Australia and in uh, Vancouver, where we're based out of. In Australia, we have Matt Vernon, who uh, actually lives on, on a farm within one of our tenements. Um, used to be the underground manager at the Ballarat Man Mines, so certainly has a lot of local uh, experience there, and he's running things on the ground for us. In Vancouver, we're backed by the Inventa Capital uh, Group, which is led by Craig Perry, an Australian. He's the one who was able to grab these projects for us uh, a number of years ago. Um, and of course, Greg is well known, a lot of success as the chairman of Skeeter Resources, founded ISO Energy and NextGen and Diesel Silver and so forth. So we're, we're well backed um, and have a great team on the ground. We're in pretty good shape. I mean, the, the good news about uh, last year is that we didn't spend a ton of money. We have, you know, last reported, I think we had just under $5 million in the bank, um, which is more than enough to carry us through our next uh, 12 months. Uh, so we're, we're in good shape, shape in terms of uh, finance. First of all, it's great to be back in New York. It's been a couple of years since we've been allowed to, to, to come down here. Um, good to see faces that we haven't seen in person just over Zoom in a number of years. And, and actually the interest has been, been great. Uh, people have traveled uh, a good distance to come here and, and uh, so it's been a successful part.